so whenever Dr. Daigle came, you know, he brought, um, you know, the laser that we like to use. And, you know, we immediately started to use it on him. Right. Um, and do you think that that had a rather profound effect on John's recovery? Absolutely. Because at that point, I just really needed to be able to do something that didn't require anything from him. And so I was able to just shine those lights on him. And, um, you know, I, I started really, really seeing his agitation go down. The cool thing about that modality is that in those really severe situations, it is passive, right? Yes. But there's so many things going on. Um, and it's so safe and effective that you right. do start to see immediate change. Right. Um, and something that I get asked a whole lot, of, like every day almost, is, you know, when do we need to start using it? Um, you know, and I'm a big believer that as soon as we can get that laser on yes. someone, you know, even if they're still in the hospital, you know, I've gotten in the hospitals before, um, because it is so safe. Did you notice any side effects? No, not at all. Exactly. Yeah, and it was, it, you know, what else I loved about it is, you know, just um, even, you know, with him not getting up and walking, just bring circulation to his body. You know, we focused on the brain a lot, which was probably the most benefit, but also like doing his feet and just, it really helped with the circulation throughout his legs without even having to get up and walk and stuff like that. Absolutely. So that, you know, stemming from the feet all the way up because his feet used to be like purple. And so getting blood flow throughout the whole body was key too. You know, not only that, but whenever you have any kind of brain injury, whether it's mild, moderate or severe, you do start to see almost an immediate breakdown of the gut and a change yes. in the microbiome. And I've heard you talk about that, you know, with the undigested food in the stool and that kind of thing. Um, and that's definitely something that we focused on too, is using uh, the correct wavelengths mm -hmm. of light, right? Because the infrared light has a better effect on the microbiome and affects the gut better than the red. Mm -hmm. And so knowing how to navigate those wavelengths, which is obviously what you've been doing and what we've talked about this whole time, can have a profound impact. And it even states in the literature that it can alter the microbiome, so. Yeah, I always tell people that I, I feel like I have those um, lasers in my back pocket. They're like the Band-Aid and the aspirin of the <laughs> new age. Yeah. I like, I feel like I'm whipping them out all the time. I'm yeah. like, these are my lasers. <laughs> um, I mean, I use them for myself as well. You know, if we get a cut or something, I just laser right onto it. For him, like when, you know, with everything, with the COVID and stuff, I, you know, the sinuses, I even shine on his sinuses just to keep circulation and keep things healthy. It's, a, it, it's worth every penny it's, of those. Those, Absolutely. I mean, we use them at least an hour to two hours a day. <laughs> and yeah, I'm always charging them up again. <laughs>